Welcome back. It was a murder that crippled South Florida and left so many unanswered questions for two decades and this month. It marks 20 years since the murder of fashion icon and South Beach resident Gianni Versace. It set off an international manhunt centered right here in South Florida. And tonight, Local 10's Glenda Milberg tracked down the man who discovered killer Andrew Cunanan in his hideout, and he remembers every detail. Even some of the neighbors here have no idea that the man who helped end an international manhunt for Gianni Versace's killer 20 years ago lives right here among them. You see this one as the one he, he gave me the money. Fernando Carrera is still dapper and charming, though decidedly less flashy than he was during his sudden worldwide notoriety 20 years ago. This is me. This and this is me. Now 91, he recounts in vivid detail the events of that July afternoon in 1997. So many years have gone by and you remember such detail. Yes, I remember everything. His routine check of a closed up houseboat docked off Collins and 54th Street that would reveal spree killer Andrew Cunanan, target of a worldwide dragnet who'd murdered fashion icon Gianni Versace at his South Beach mansion more than a week earlier. The policemen, FBI, everybody they look for him. And you found him. And I found him. Carrera said that late afternoon he noticed immediately the lock was broken. The door opened and I see all the lights on. When I see all the lights on, I told my wife, somebody come here already. He saw the sofa moved, then shoes. I put the gun, give one step to this side, he go to check her out. He boom! I told her. If somebody tried to shoot at me, he could miss it. It's the same gun. The very same gun the you same used gun. at the houseboat? Yes, the one to save me. I'm supposed to be dead because Kunan, I killed five people. Police, FBI, even Interpol arrived. What was first considered a standoff became Kunanan's apparent suicide, an investigation that lasted into the next day, with confirmation that the hunt for Kunanan was over, kept from the public and Carrera, who police kept with them until the next dawn. Had you heard about the manhunt? Did you know? Yeah, I know, I know. Everybody knows. Police found the body because I called them. Carrera did collect considerable reward checks from grateful organizations, money he says he lost in bad business investment. No more uh, ring, no more chain, nothing. No money, nothing. Everything is gone. He still shakes his head at rumors and gossip he hears about Versace's murder and remembers detectives first denying Cunanan's discovery. I know. Why he say all that liar? Do you know why? Yes. Tell me. Because you want to get the credit, the everything. Fernando says now all he really wants is for the stories that people tell now about what happened that day and that night are told truthfully and factually. I'm Glenna Milberg on Miami Beach, Local 10 News. And our thanks to Glenna, the best in the business in South Florida, and uh, taking us back so many years for Mr. Carrera. My gosh, 20 years ago. Such an incredible and important piece of South Florida history there. I mean, knowing that uh, Cunanan was uh, in that boathouse like that. Living history and to think that he carries around the same gun he wow. had 20 years ago for yeah. protection. Unbelievable. And, yeah, he remembers so much. And uh, wow, uh, we are thankful to the both of them for providing that story. Such, a, such an important part of South Florida history, but something that we're all going to remember, no doubt about it. So. Absolutely.